Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 11. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the Turbo Sports Series. We've got three tracks, uh, Deep Forest Raceway, Trial Mountain, and Spa Frankenchamp. Uh, so we're going to be starting off with the Deep Forest Raceway. And we are taking the Lancer Evo 6 for this one. Let's see uh, what kind of cars we're going against. I'm kind of looking forward to see because obviously all of these cars are going to be turbocharged. Here we go. Let's see what the starting grid looks like. Oh, so we got an es two Esprits, uh, an RX-7. Interesting. They're all from um, the 1990s and there's a couple of O2s as well. Right, here we go. We're going. Time for the Mitsubishi to show the rest of the pack who's boss. Let's go around this first corner. Perfect. This car is four-wheel drive as well, so we can take this for the four-wheel drive championship. I think that's in the next episode. Awesome. Oh. There we go. We got the Esprit coming in front of us there. Uh, is that a Supra? Nice. This is obviously the Evo 6, so this is the very old car. I do wish they would make an Evo 11, because the Evo stopped at 10 and that's it. There's not been a single Evo since. I do miss the uh, Mitsubishi Evos. The Evos are classic cars that should be preserved forever. Here we go. Passing a Supra there. Definitely shifted down way too many gears. Right, we've got one car miles ahead of us. Let's see if we can catch up with them. 6.7 seconds behind. Perfect. And by the looks of it, we are catching up. How are you so far ahead, but I've just caught up so quick? I think it's an Esprit as well. Round the outside. Perfect. This is a slightly upgraded Mitsubishi as well. Uh, I upgraded this one off screen. So before it was about 420 performance points. It is now up to a very nice 547. Um, but for the four wheel drive one, I think we need to put a performance limiter on it. But we will get to that closer to the time. Perfect. Here we go. Here we go. Coming to the finish line now. And across the line. 1 minute 27.299. Nice. That was a good final lap. 2 minutes 58.879 total. Mitsubishi Evo. Do. Taking out 30, nearly 14,000 credits. That is very good there. Right, let's exit and move on to the next race. Which is, let's find out now. Trial Mountain, let's go. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, what cars we're actually going up against this time. Um, because it always changes unless it's a championship. 
So we can actually see new cars now if we want to. Um, by the looks of it, we do. We've got RX-7s. We've got a TT Coupe. Very nice. Uh, a Megan RS. I think that's the newest car in the entire of the pack. Fair enough. Right, let's go. Mitsubishi, time to shine. Meow. It's going to be really exciting to see Trial Mountain back in... Um, Gran Turismo 7. And I'm hoping when they release Gran Turismo 7, they'll do like what they did with um, Gran Turismo 5. So obviously they did the prologue, which is Gran Turismo prologue, um, which took them forever. Um, and if we say that GT Sport was like the prologue, I'm hoping that we can then get Gran Turismo 8, maybe four years later, three or four years later, and get a full-size game afterwards, not something small like GT Sport. We're just going to have to wait and see how the life cycle of the PS5 turns out. Because by the looks of it as well, I think the life cycle is going to be longer than Xbox, easily. PS5 could last over 10 years. Both consoles could. Because the way they're structuring this, they could have those consoles for a long time. Oh! That corner was sketchy there. Look at that airtime through that section. We were flying through the air. Flying through the air, air, air. I should probably stop singing on these. Where's the monkey in the tree? Is it this corner here? It is, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. There's the monkey in the tree. Perfect. Let's go, squeeze past the RX-7 there. Oh, a little bit late. A little bit late on the break in through that section there. Perfect. Right, let's slow down here. Let's get around the second to last corner. Coming to the final chicane for the main straight. Let's try and actually make it around this corner. That couldn't have gone more perfect if I tried that corner. That was just awesome. Style points and any other points you can offer me <laughs> six seconds ahead though which is a very good time to be um i mean six seconds is pretty impressive for two laps there we go third and first and complete in so three stars gt right on to spa frankenchamp next Let's see what cars uh, the game is going to offer us as opponents today. Circuit de Spa, Franco Charm. Right, what are our enemies looking like? Right, so we have another Lancer Evo 6 uh, we're going against. We've got a Sylvia, an SRT4. I don't recognize that car. Um, I'm guessing that's a Dodge Challenger. Uh, we got an RCZ, which is the newest car out of all of those. Um, and we've also got a Fair Lady 300ZX. Nice. Right, let's do this. Spa. Spa is one of my favorite tracks. 
Or let's play it this way. Spa is a very good track for me. Because I keep saying every track's my favourite track. I do like how Gran Turismo, they put proper tracks in for Gran Turismo 6. Like, obviously they had proper tracks before, but like, they have more proper tracks in this. And like, better proper tracks. Obviously they had like, Nürburgring and... Nürburgring and more Nürburgring. That was about it. Really. Um, but putting in extra proper tracks is really good. Come on, let's get around that. Is that a neon? Dodge neon? Could be. We've got Sylvia up ahead. Let's try and overtake you. Perfect. And there's the other Lancer that we are about to fly past. Very good line through here. Perfect. That corner was tighter than I was expecting. Tighter than I remember it as well. I remember those two corners being a little bit lighter. Um, but then again, I would play F1 2019 and that was like very easy to get around those corners so might be why I took them a little bit too aggressive then two minutes though we are nowhere near the finish line this track is mahusive coming up to the final section though Sticking in second gear, actually, I think is a better option. You get a better um, amount of speed coming out of the corners there. I think we probably need to be a gear above whatever the game recommends. Because obviously we've got a lot more performance upgrades in this. See? Worked very nicely there. Come on, can we hit 160? Yes. spin is ridiculous in this car and the power as well being 16 seconds ahead that is crazy awesome right slow down here into third gear Perfect. Nice. Right, slowing down. Let's get around these corners. I'm aiming for a 235, I think. Very good there. Oh. There we 
go. Back on track. Awesome. And let's go across the line. Here we go. First place. 1 minute 41 for that final lap. 5 minutes 24 overall. Let's go and see exactly how much money we've got now to spend on the next car. 56,000, okay. We're going to be spending it on a Renault Clio Sport for the next one, which is really cool. Because I've really wanted to drive a Clio Sport in this game from the last one. I think it's called a Lassetti. Pretty sure. Um, so we're going to find out exactly how much... Uh, no, I don't want that one. I want this one. The Lucetti. Okay, so we can get up to 500 for sports hards or less. Let's go then. Tune in. Um, we're going to make sure that we've got sports hards or less on. So there we go. Sports hard tyres. Then we're going to go into body. And I think we need a weight reduction. That's going to make a huge amount of difference to this car. Uh, and then we're going to go to power. Make sure we got the sports computer on there. And a stage 2 upgrade. 29A or 276. Yeah, stage 2. And then turbo kits. We can't actually put any of those on. But we can put all of these cheap upgrades on. Four nine three, nice, perfect, perfect performance rating there. Um, suspension. I feel like we should put a um. Hmm. Soft. Nah, we'll leave that for now. Um, right. Let's go to National A. We're going to be taking the MR Challenge. And we are starting out in Madrid. Let's go. Let's see if this Clio uh, Renault Sport will actually uh, help us out. Right, so the cars we're going against are three different Esprits. Two NSXs. No, four NSXs. I didn't count the other ones. And a Tesla Roadster. And an Evora. Let's go. Ah! <laughs> right, let's do this. Renault, you've got a lot to live up for. Oh, so it has the um, interior camera like the other game, but if it's like a non-mapped interior, it just looks like this. Pretty. Wait, I see arms though. The fuck? Is this a mapped interior or not? I can't tell. It looks very dark, but I can see arms. That is weird. That is trippy. Oh! This car is a little bit uncontrollable, apparently. Perfect. Right, let's see if we can catch up with the other NSX. I think we definitely have too much power in this tiny little Clio. Come on. We have so much more power. There we go. We have like 300 brake horsepower. I think for me it would be a dream to own this car. Like, it is such a nice car. Jesus. It is a nice car unless you put way too much power for it. <laughs> In which case it tries to spin. Whoa. 
Whoa. I think I have no traction control on, actually. Or maybe I do. It's just the game's been really annoying today. This is draining every last ounce of my energy and skill. No, there's traction control. This car's just a little bit too overpowered then. And that's not overpowered in a good way. That's like overpowered as in there's way too much horsepower for it to handle. I'm going to try and not break too much on corners. That's good. That's really good there. Right, so down here, final corner. Oh, at least we got a good drift in. As long as it's a good drifter, I'm not fussed. I am not fussed about that one bit. There we go. Two minutes, 59.6, 2.2 seconds ahead. Very good time. Right. Let's move on to the next race. Um, we need to find out what the second race is first. We've got ourselves a fairly decent amount of stars there too. Let's exit. Right game. Tell me, second race is Trial Mountain. Not great. That's a very tricky track. Let's do this though. It is a long and tricky track and with this car, Probably going to have our work cut out. Uh, by the looks of it, we are going up against a... Right, let's do this. Renault, it's your time to shine. Perfect. Oh my gosh, is that what I think it is? No, it's not. I thought that was that concept car from um, Gran Turismo PSP. I had that. It looked epic. Little Mitsubishi concept with like flappy wings. Almost like the Hawaii's wings. But it was only on the back and they were massive. They were like dinner plates on the back of a car. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's get past the Avora. Nice. We are keeping the car under control as much as possible. Can't guarantee that anything will be safe though in this thing. If you value your life, don't sit in this car. Ah, oh, shit. Thanks for the assistance there. Okay, so we need to watch out for that corner after the main straight. Obviously, putting lots of power in a car is fun. But, like, it's not very practical. As this car is very much showing off right now. Right, let's get around this corner safely. Perfect. Try not to die today, please. Awesome. Whoa! Here we go. Back under control. Back under control. Keep it going. Keep it moving. Don't crash out. It's a Lotus Evora V6 there. Very nice. Holy shit. This is tricky. This is tricky. This is zapping every single ounce of my skill and my energy out. 
to control this car and not book a table for two with a wall. Whoa! Woo! That corner we nearly... No! That guy was trying to pit me. I swear he was. Maybe it might have been the car just lost control. We did very well to uh, regain control though. Sneaking out up on the inside there. Right, we have one entire lap to get this last car. Come on, keep it controlled, keep it controlled. Perfect. This is like wrestling a massive truck, but the truck is uncontrollable and... Yeah, you can definitely tell this car weighs a ton in this game, because it just does not want to turn without sliding. What is this car, though? I do not recognize you. It's one of those weird cars again. Right, come on. Right, let's squeeze through here. Perfect. Right, shift now to third. Brakes. Round the corner, nicely done there. We're going to try and beat a 1 minute 50 for this lap. And that requires us to not mess this corner up. Perfect. That was very good throttle control there. Come on. Perfect. Nice. Whoa. No. Quick. Keep it, keep it. Yes. Oh, we didn't get the below 1 minute 50. But we managed to save it and get that first. Whew, that was close. That was very close. Nice little paycheck there. Three stars. Let's go and see what the final race is. I think the final race is at Apricot Hill. Uh, if I remember right. Let's have a look. Yes, it is Apricot Hill Raceway. This track is quite fun. Obviously, the S curves, uh, the S bends are very nice to take. Um, but not when you've got a 400 horsepower hatchback that's rear wheel drive, weighs about a ton, and is not designed to go this fast. Why are we against a Zonda C12 and a GT40? I understand a Miura, but not a C12 or a GT40. That That's just not fair. Right, we are going in the Renault Sport Lutasia. I swear this is just a Clio, but from a different country. It also had, like, two extra brake horsepower stocks, so I went with that car instead of the other one. Awesome. Oh, watch it. I still don't get how I'm going to beat a Zonda and a Ford GT Mark 40. I just don't see how that's going to happen. So I have a feeling this track in the bin. Though 
Woohoo! Look at that slide. I have a feeling the Zonda is still not too far ahead. There's the Zonda there. You can see it. Why on earth is that not taken off then? Is the Zonda C12 that bad? The first Zonda was not that bad. And how is a Ford GT Mark 40 beating it? How come it's been overtaken by Miura? Look! I'm catching up with a Zonda in a Lutasia. I am right behind a Zonda right now. I have overtaken a Zonda. I have overtaken a Zonda. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. They're not the grippiest of tyres. I will say that now. Um, the Muir is about to get... The Muir is about to overtake a GT40. A GT40. The iconic Le Mans car. The Ford... Wait. What is that car then? That doesn't... Oh, it's the... Is it a GT40 but... Without the Le Mans there. Like the road car that they had to make to make it... Legal to make the GT40. Yeah, it's the road car version. Oh, that does look sick though, doesn't it? Not as sick as that drift that I just pulled off. Mate, I'm getting awards here. I deserve a sick drift award. Polyphony. Make sure that gets added in GT7. We need a sick drift award. And it needs to be called sick drift award. And if you get a sick drift in your race, you get like a million credits. Even if it's a level one race, you get a million credits. Problem solved. Now nah, that would probably ruin the um, economy of the game if they did that. I mean, they could do like awards where they give you like a little bit of money and then it goes up as you get further up. So like at level 20 it will give you like a thousand credits, but at level like 1 it will give you a hundred. Just something small. But worthwhile. Makes it feel rewarding. That would be pretty cool. Nice. I do love the Apricot Hill Raceway. It's a very nice track. Apparently a Zonda C12 and a Ford GT Mark 40 don't like it though. Yeah, the mirror's just overtaken it. Oh, that's the wrong button. That's the wrong button. We can't let a Miura overtake us though. To be fair, we are in a Lutasia though, so... Probably could get overtaken in real life. But not in Gran Turismo. Finish. Two seconds faster than... Oh wait, the GT40 overtook the Miura at the last minute. Fair enough, you needed your reputation. The Zonda came fifth. Me, I'm disappointed with the Zonda. I really am. Zonda, you've disappointed me. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.